Okay, folks, let's see what we can do with this one. I got this from a trip I did. I was doing some public demos. I went on a bit of a tour or an adventure. I'll call, that's what I call the, yeah, so basically I just went on a trip to do some uh, public um, photocopier demos. And this is one of the things I picked up at one of the libraries. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here a uh, Pit Water Life, otherwise I call it a Snorty magazine, another variant of Snorty. It's a nice picture there. And it does, it gets a bit snorty. I don't know why beautiful pictures have to be associated with snortiness. Why everyone... That's what I hate about society is that you have to be rich to have a a nice beach or harbour view it's like a form of bullying like the less fortunate people get downtrodden and have to live in places with uh, not, e not even enough places to live there's too many um, rich people making things too expensive and that's come up looking really quite interesting actually uh, I do wonder if we're going to utilise that. But yeah, a lot of rich people just don't care about the less fortunate. They have control of everything. They they rule everything. You know, the rich executives and shit. You know, those people who control the big corporations that make a difference in this world, normally for a bad way instead of a good way. Um... And yet they're the, oh, oh that's another pit water life. That, that was not the same one. I'm just going to put that there. And maybe find some more stuff on the inside of the magazine. But yeah, it's just amazing how the rich control everything, including the harbour views and and everything. And they don't seem to care about the less fortunate. Um, if I was rich, I would be tr turning most of my money to making a difference, folks, to making the world a better place instead of fucking it up like these rich people typically do. And I just want to make the world a better place. That we won't, that a world, it would be nice to have a world without poverty. A world without the have and have not system that we have today where everyone's life appears to be a form of lottery uh, like we all have lotteries and that, we, that some people win the jackpot and others don't win anything except trouble and despair and sadness and all the horrible things that come with being socioeconomically disadvantaged. Okay, out they come our 
Rich People's magazine. Oh, it's for free, but it makes you feel like you've got to be a million dollars to appreciate it. And that's something I don't have. I'm not rich, so I feel like revolting against the status quo of this world, folks. Against the rich people and the people in corporations. So, yeah. Anyway, that snortiness has come up looking uh, not the greatest, but it's quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.